Jake Stunnel here. Today, for Beachcombing, we're gonna talk to you about a sand dollar. And the reason we're gonna talk about it today is because I found a live sand dollar just right above the surf zone and it was upside down. So that's what the bottom of it looks like. Now, most of y'all are probably used to finding these sand dollars when they look like this. So there's no hairs on it. It's just the exoskeleton, and uh, which is called the test, uh, T-E-S-T. Uh, that's normally what we find them for, and usually the bits and pieces. I do uh, frequently find them whole, uh, but you got to get up early in the morning because those are like a prized possession uh, that people like to buy. Uh, I mean, sorry, they, they like to find like early in the morning. So you got to get out there soon. Now, live ones, we don't find that often. And whenever we find these, I'm just keeping it out of the water briefly because I want to get it back in the water. Uh, these are uh, a sea urchin. They're a flat sea urchin. So uh, normally when they're out uh, in the ocean on the sandy bottom, they'll be either flat uh, or they'll, they can actually stick up like this to where they can um, feed kind of uh, above the sand. Um, they can bury into the sand uh, to kind of hide from predators. They can actually move across the sand and uh, eat the sand to get microorganisms out of it, which is how it, it feeds. And um, you'll notice that it looks very different than, say, the ones you would typically find because of all the little hairs on it. So it does have um, these sp modified spines, and then it has a lot of tube feet so little feet that come off of it and that's how it's able to move across the sand uh, if a predator is after it um, it can uh, try to get weighted down you know say if, or even if the surf is trying to push it in it can eat the sand to try to keep uh, it weighted down on the bottom so it doesn't get washed in and so just a really cool animal uh, this is going to be a short episode today because I want to make sure I get this uh, back in the water uh, so that it has a chance to live. The tube feet I do see are moving around now, right now, uh, so it is still alive. The mouth is actually on the bottom, right in the middle. Uh, that's how it's able to bring in sand and uh, sift out the microorganisms to live. But, man, how cool is that uh, to find a live sand dollar? Uh, very neat kind of purplish in color okay uh, with that I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the water and uh, we'll talk to you on the next beach coming thanks bye